What up to Five Nation from DC? I said it ain't no me, so I need more bottles. Yeah. Okay, these lanes gon' see that a nigga ball harder. See, I got it to the T, cause my T cost dollars. Yeah. Really get a good mix of different types of people. It's so diverse. There's so many different types of neighborhoods. You know, you have like low income neighborhoods, but then you have areas like Georgetown. DC is it's the government. Everything's based on the political system, politics. It is representative of the East Coast, but it's like very different from New York too. It feels like a cleaner city, you know? Especially when you're downtown. It's comfortable. You don't lose human perspective. You feel that you're in a city, but not overpowered by the city. It's less fast-paced, but compared to the West Coast, it's definitely less liberal, I guess. It's more conservative. You see the homeless people on every corner, but like, there's not like a black population in Georgetown. Whereas, like you call DC Chocolate City, like everywhere else, there's like a significant population of African Americans. kids you really see over here is really not poor, you know what I'm saying? This is not the United Negro College. But one of the great things about Howard is I do see Indian students, I do see Latino students, I do see students from Africa, I do see students from the West Indies. That's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? Things have changed, DC's changed a lot. There were a lot of African American people that lived here, so, you know, now it's about, you know, maybe 50-50. Yes, a lot of people, I feel they think of like, you know, the president and like everything about that. But it's also like, that's really not what is here. It's like a lot more than just that. My name's Tommy DeGancy from uh, Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C. area. Went to DePaul University with Fabio Meza. And we're heading to the Bears Redskins game right now. Always used to go to Redskins games growing up. The tailgating is phenomenal. Um, with uh, family and friends, it's just a, it's always a great time. Here in DC, people can care less about the Wizards and the Nationals. They only really care about the Redskins. From the 30s, we're one of the you know staples of the NFL. They're never changing the name. Too much tradition. You know, fight for old DC. If the United States Congress does not fulfill its responsibility to pass a budget today, much of the United States government will be forced to shut down tomorrow. And now with the government shut down recently, obviously that's been like huge news. It affects DC and like every sector, business, marketing, finance, it's just it's impacted everyone in the area. There's plenty of people that don't have jobs, a bunch of stuff is closed. I do like pre-K tutoring for poor schools in DC. And the library that we check books out of was closed because it's publicly funded. I mean, it's just affected everyone. Students, faculty, professionals, everyone in the community. It's good that, you know, they've reopened everything. Stuff's a lot smoother when the government's running. So DC, it's a goddamn shame. Nationals cap in my goddamn veins. You ain't heard of You know what I think my favorite thing about DC is there's a lot of, there's a lot of job opportunities around here. There's a lot of opportunities with it, like anything that you want to do, entertainment, you know, medical field, business, anything that you want to do. When I graduate and I start working and I live in a different area of DC, it's gonna be like a whole new experience for me. New neighborhoods, up on the rise, more income coming into the city. It's a great thing. DC chilling, where it all begins. Bob Nation out. The nation's cap is on my back, that's why I rap, that's why I trap Don't you ever try to go smack at my city, D.C. The West, North, East, Uptown, and the South Side Best believe that we rap